Hi, I'm Ramona Wurst with Real Texas Recipes, and today I'm going to show you how to roast a poblano, a jalapeno, or even a hatched chili pepper the proper way. So what you're going to do is you're going to actually place your chili pepper on a broiler pan, and you're going to broil it. And if you'll notice, it is charred on all the different sides. Once it's charred, what you'll do is you'll place it in a wet paper towel, and then you'll place it inside a Ziploc bag and actually seal it off. What this is going to do is it's going to make the skins softer and easier to remove. And all you do is you're going to roll it just a little bit in between your hands and then you're going to peel this skin. Now if I were going to use, this is a poblano pepper, the hatch peppers have not come out quite yet. And what I do is when they come out, I'll roast a whole bunch of them, chop them up, and freeze them. Then that way I have uh, chilies all winter long. But anyway, after you actually peel it all off like that, then what you'll do, now if I were going to use this for a chili relleno, I would be very careful and I would just open it up and remove the seeds. But I'm not going to, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this off. And you'll want to be wearing gloves. Remember I told you if you touch your skin after you've uh, touched a pepper, you'll pay for it for several hours. Now you don't want to run your pepper underwater because what that'll do is there's oils uh, on your chili pepper and the water would wash it off and you'll lose some flavor. Now what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to be freezing this and I'm going to be using it on say, some cheese crisps. And that recipe will be on realtexasblog.com along with my other recipes. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just slice these in long slivers. And I will go ahead and place those in a bowl. Now I also have a jalapeno here that I have roasted. And what you do, same thing, is you just roll it just a little bit in between your fingers. And then you just grab some of the skin and it will peel off very, very nicely. Now, what I've done, actually, I've already done these jalapenos, is I've chopped them very coarsely, as you can see. These are going to go on my nachos, but you can also freeze these in baggies uh, for use anytime during the winter or anytime you want to. I'm Ramona Worst with Texas Recipes. Again, you can find all my recipes on realtexasblog.com.